Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today I'm bringing you guys our second Wi-Fi battle with our Arbok team and let me just go ahead and tell you today, today's Wi-Fi battle gets actually intense man. I promise you the ending is almost like a Cinderella ending with like Mammoth Swine just putting in absolute work. So if you guys are excited for today's Wi-Fi battle, go ahead and do me a favor and drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content from myself. And last but not least, make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section below because we're trying to get the algorithm to go in our favor and it would be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the battle. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP. Today we are charging into our second Wi-Fi battle with our Arbok team. And today I am battling Persephone. I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, so watch out for the name. And today they have a pretty scary team. They have an Ambipom, a Rotom Wash. Ooh, we're gonna have a Rotom Wash War, I like that. Does yours have dirty socks or dirty underwear? I don't know. Uh, but they have Feraligator, they have Nidoking. Pfft. Bow down. Uh, Lantern and Skarmory, so. Rock Setter with Skarmory, Defogger with Skarmory, and a Fake Out user with Ambipom. So, a good lead for us would, th I think, be. Could be Rotom Wash because I could definitely hit something hard. I really I don't have any Fire type moves on this team. Oh no, Fire would actually be nice on this team. Let's go ahead and lead with Michelin. Uh, if we lead with Michelin, that shouldn't be too bad. We have Sturdy. Uh, and then that way, if he goes with, uh, if he goes with Skarmory, we can at least knock off and then, you know, do some damage. So if you guys are hyped for today's Wi-Fi battle, go ahead and drop a like on today's video. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And last but not least, make sure you guys leave a comment in the comments below who you guys would like to see us build with next time. Today, they lead with Ambipom, the O3 Finger Monkey Boy. All right, so what are we going to do? Ambipom is here. I could switch if I wanted to, but is that going to give me any benefit? I already know he's going to fake out here, um, but just off chance he does, I'm going to go for the knockoff. This fake out's probably going to do a lot. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't do too bad of damage. Now, the question is, is the double hit going to hit us hard? That's the question. Um, what, now, what do I think he switches into? I have no idea. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get a Stealth Rock off. I'm gonna get a Stealth Rock off just in case we need to break any rocks. So he's in a U-turn. What does he go into? That's the question. I think he goes into Rotom Wash. I think, or Feraligator. I think he goes into either Feraligator or Rotom Wash. Skarmory, okay. That's fine. That is fine. The only bad thing about this, <sighs> the only very inconvenient thing about this is we have nothing to take on the Skarmory. We don't have any flying type moves. Uh, I, I don't even think I have any electric type moves. Oh, I have Rotom Wash with Volt Switch, but eh. Um, well, I guess what I could do here is I could knock off, but I think he's going to go for his own rocks. Or he defogs here. Hmm... I could go into Manny, but like I feel like this thing's gonna be especially defensive. Let's just go for a knockoff. Oh, wait, what I I just misclicked. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, cool. I guess that actually kind of works out for me. Haha. <laughs> I guess that actually kind of works out for me, so screw it. Hey, when the misclick, when the misclick that works out in your benefit. W. Alright, stupid bird thing here. <sighs> I don't know what else to do here. Do I just go for another big knockoff here? I mean, I could. I mean, it's, it's effective. Why not? He's going to Brave Bird here. That's fine. That's going to do some residge damage. That's good. Uh, definitely does a good chunk, actually. It actually did a lot more than I thought it would. But a knockoff is going to be pretty big here. Not going to do anything, though. Um, The question is, can I preserve Don Fan here? I think I could, low-key. I think, honestly, I, I can go into Dirty Socks. I think he's got a Brave Bird here. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and switch into Dirty Socks here. And the best part is, is if we can get a prediction off. So, like for example, like if we're gonna go for a like, if he thinks we're gonna go for like a uh, electric type move, we can actually go for the. Um, we can actually go for the Will O Wisp. 
in hopes of hitting the Nido King or the. I don't think he's gonna go into for Alligator. So let's go for. Let us go for a stupid steel bird. Um, let's go for a Willow Wisp. Willow Wisp? Yeah, let's go for a Willow Wisp. He's gonna withdraw Skarmory. Good, that's fine. Into Lantern. Okay. That's actually fine. That's not a big deal. As long as we hit the Willow Wisp, I'm good. Hit the Willow Wisp. W. Let me know in the comments, do I say W too much? Also, please leave a comment in the comments below because I really, really, really want to get the algorithm on point on the channel. And I think with comments, that would really help. So I would appreciate you guys if you did. All right, um, right, let's see. What can we do now? So we already know this thing is going to be Volt Absorb. We already know this thing is going to be Volt Absorb. I could go into Manny, but I'm a little scared of an electric type attack. I could go into Orochimaru, but... That's not even looking good for me either. There's not a lot I can really go into. I don't think he goes for an electric type attack, to be honest. I don't think he does. Let's go. No, I need Manny because I need that thing for the Nido King. Let's go into Michelin. Let's go into Michelin. Wait, why'd that burn just happen? Yeah, let's go into Michelin. Let's predict a electric type of move. Because I don't think he's going to go for a water type move. And if he does, ugh. Scald. Okay, so he did go for the water type move. Okay. That's not good. That's fine, actually. Uh, so the good thing is here. <clears throat> the good thing is we can actually switch in it to Nido King. Or not Nido King. What am I doing? Uh, oh, actually, no. We could actually switch into... Lucario. Yo, we could actually switch into Luca or Orochimaru. But I feel like... I feel like... We could actually set up here if we really wanted to. Actually, I I'm going to do it. Let's set up. Let's set up Lucario. Lucario setup is going to be clean here, actually. And I don't think he's like, he might Volt Switch here, but I don't think he's going to do anything crazy. All right, so he does switch out. Whatever. He's going to send in Skarmory. That's fine. Which is actually fine because I think a Flash Cannon will do a good chunk of damage. And I don't think a Brave Bird takes us out. Oh, do I set up twice here? That's the thing. I think I can take a, a Brave Bird, actually. But then again... Uh, it depends if it has Aqua Jet on his... You know what? Let's just set up another Nasty Plot. Let's set up another Nasty Plot. Let's plus four this bad boy. He's probably going to go for the Brave Bird or his own Stealth Rocks. Brave Bird, that's fine. That shouldn't take us out. Easy. That does half. That's perfect. And that does a lot of damage to it. W. Let's go for the Aura Sphere. I think Aura Sphere should take it out. We're at plus four right now. So this thing should easily go down to an Aura Sphere. Yeah, he didn't really plan for the setup for Lucario. I'll tell you that. And actually, he doesn't really want to switch into anything here, to be honest. So we're going to Aura Sphere here. Now, unless this Needle King is Scarfed... Unless Needle King is scarved, which I I don't know if it could be, unless it's Life Orb Sheer Force, but I doubt it. Hmm. Lantern? Is this thing scarfed? Is Lantern scarfed? If this is a scarf Lantern, that's gonna be weird. No, it's not scarfed, but it's especially defensive. It lived on one. It lived on one. That's not cool, man. But we did take it out. Wait, no, we didn't. 
We did it. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> Why? All right. Well, the good thing is we can go into Manny here, actually. We can go into Manny. We can now. The good thing is, is we can actually bluff. We can actually bluff the. Um, we can bluff the earthquake. And we can actually go for an icicle crash because icicle crash is going to hit the Rotom Wash hard. It's going to hit the Nido King hard. It's going to hit because Skarmory's out of here. <sighs> Does it though? I'm a little scared to hit that. Or I go for a big stone edge. Now I'm going to go for the Icicle Crash. Let's go, W. Okay. So now the question is, is like, what does he switch into? Because we need to do, we definitely need to preserve the, we definitely need to preserve Mammoth Swine for the, okay, 100%. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it lived on one at plus four. That's stupid, man. Dude, Lucario would have easily just like swept like four more of his guys, 100%. Question is, what does he switch into? I'm a little nervous he switches into the Rotom Wash, which he does. But I also do have... I also do have... Actually, I have Dirty Socks and Papa Doc to take on the Nido King. <sighs> let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's go into... Let's go into Orochimaru, actually. Let's go into Orochimaru, see what we can get off. Because I think he's going to go for a Hydro. He's either going to go for a Hydro Pump or a Will-O-Wisp. And he goes for a Will-O-Wisp, eh. I'm not down with the uh, Will-O-Wisp. But at the same time, Okay, cool. Oh. And the other... Do I actually predict the switch? Do I predict it? Or do I just, like, say, screw it? Mm. Or do I just hit this thing hard? Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's just gunk shot it. Let's gunk shot it. Let's see what we can get off. Ooh, that's doing half. Yo, miss the wisp. Miss the wisp. Oh, he both switched. Let's go. That's fine. I'm cool with that, actually. Yo, you actually know what would have been dope? Honestly, what would have been dope if I actually just sucker punched there? That would have been dope if I would have just sucker punched right there. Oh, I wish Donphan was still alive, because now we can't get rocks up. But the good thing is, is he, I don't think, can get rocks up either, which, so, that's actually kind of a W, so. Nothing's taking residual. The good thing is, is, oh, no. Okay, so, what we can do here, right, what we can do here, is we can just go ahead and coil. We can coil, and then sucker punch. So I think he's gonna dragon dance. I think he's gonna dragon dance 100 percent Unless he doesn't. Unless he doesn't. Cause I think we I think now we can live one. Yeah, 100 percent Now the question is: Do I coil again? Thinking I can live one, or do I just straight sucker punch? I don't think I'm gonna live one, to be honest. But I am plus one defense. This is tough. I'm going to Sucker Punch here. Get off a lot of damage. Ah, it didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Yeah, I knew I wasn't living that. I knew I wasn't living that. So good thing I actually went for the Sucker Punch. Uh, and the good thing is here is I can just go ahead and... Do I Dirty Socks here, actually? Yeah, I think I'm a dirty socks here. I'm a dirty socks here. Although I think honestly with a choice scarf I could outspeed Mammoth Swine. Do I Volt Switch here or do I Willow Wisp? I Willow. I Willow. I take the Willow. Crunch, I don't think that kills. Easy. Let's go! 
And then I rest here, actually. And then I rest. That's the thing. That's what I do. I rest. I just easily I rest here. Let's go. This is a W. Okay. And then I just rest here. I rest here. Call it a day. Crunch. That's easy. That's not doing jack. Oh, w. Yep. And look at that. Yoink. Oh, that's a W, dude. Lumberry rest dog. Let's go. That's putting it at half. Now the thing is, is does he switch into Nido King here? Does he switch into Nido King? I think he doesn't. He sacks off. That's fine. Eh, that's still not the play though. I don't think that's the play for you to be going for, bud. Oh come on, that'd be sick if we killed right now. Let's go. And we get the momentum change. That's dope. Let's go. Okay, cool. Dude, Rotom Wash is doing... Bah. Oh my god, I love Rotom Wash. Now the only thing is, is we lost Arbok, Michelin, and Sasuke. So we've lost our sweepers. But... We can go into Papa Doc. I just don't... Oh, what else does he have? What does he have? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I should have took a picture of his team. Because the thing is, now he can get some... He can get some good, like... Momentum going off of this switch. If he has Rotom Wash, that's gonna also gonna be kind of a problem. Unless he, unless he's not rest Lumberry as well, because he could probably just be Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Scald, and Will O Wisp. Okay, so he's gonna go into Ambi Palm. That kind of stinks. All right, well he's gonna fake out here 100. percent no, he's in a U-turn. Wow, that did a lot of damage, actually. Holy crap. All right. Well, hopefully he goes into Nido King, but I think he goes into Rotom Wash. Yeah, he's going to go into Rotom Wash. Okay, come on. Oh, if we got a burn here. Come on. Burn? No, no burn. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, the good thing is here is... I'm gonna go for a yawn and then slack off. The good thing is, is, is Slowking is especially defensive. So that's like the positive about this. So let's go for a yawn. He's gonna probably Volt Switch. Or he's gonna try to predict me going into Mammoth Swine and go for a Hydro Pump. That's what he did. I knew he did that. Knew he did that. Yep. Get predicted, my boy. I'm just so nervous that it's going to come down to me and Nido King and I'm going to miss an Icicle Crash. I'm so scared of that right now. Stupid little washer machine. Alright, and the good thing is here, is, the, is honestly the best part about it is we can just go ahead and uh, slack off up. Or we can Scald again. Mm, let's slack off. Yep, so he's probably going to go into Ambipom again. No, the Nido King. Okay. So now the question is, do I predict him? Do I predict him? Do I predict him to go into something else or do I yawn myself again? I'm going to scald here. Hopefully he goes into Ambipom. If he goes into Ambipom, that'd be nice. But he's probably going to go back into Rotom. Yeah, I knew. He's going to go back into Rotom. 100%. Yep. Okay. Which is fine, because we can just keep, like, yawning this thing. And just threaten, or threaten to switch out. Burn, 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 burn. Let's go! Get the residual! Oh, there's three bet. Okay, so there's three minutes left. That's cool. Well, I guess we're going to find out who goes down to the timer. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and switch into Dirty Socks. Switch into Dirty Socks, because Dirty Socks can easily just come in and do some damage. He's going to probably try to Volt Switch me. I think he's going to Volt Switch this time. Yeah, he's going to Volt Switch. And he's probably just going to go into Ambipom, is my guess. My guess is he's going to go into Ambipom. Which is going to stink. Because he's probably going to... 
Ah. Which is probably going to fake out here. But if I fake out. I'm going to predict him to fake out here. I'm going to predict him to fake out. 100%. Please fake out. Please fake out. Okay, cool. And now the best part is, is we're Choice Scarf. So we can easily just go ahead and Icicle Crash everything on his team. This is the W. And this, okay, so this should take out Ambipom. No, it lived. It lived, it lived, it lived. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. No way we're flinch winning this. Oh my God. No, no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. I love this game. I love it so much. <laughs> that is a W. Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that flinch just actually helped me win the game. That is awesome. I did not expect this to go 21 minutes. Away. Oh my goodness. That's fine. Because fake out's not hitting either way. We're fake outing, really. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, why would you do that? Why would you go to Nido King? You're going to lose now. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why he's making all these switches. Get rocked. Get rocked by Choice Scarf. Get, get rocked by Mammoth Swine. Let's go. Well, that's going to be the battle, guys. I think we win to a 3-1. So if you guys enjoyed today's Wi-Fi battle, then go ahead and drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. This one was honestly amazing. I, I absolutely had so much fun with this one. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any more content from myself. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comments below for you guys would like to see us build around. Like I said, leave a comment to help us out with the algorithm because the algorithm has been going pretty good lately. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So please have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Deuces.